Google did not visit IIT Delhi campus that year at all. My second interview was based on a dynamic programming problem and it took them over a month to reject it. Honestly, I was very sad seeing that rejection email from Google. It said that I was selected. I was so happy. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Garima. I'm a software engineer at Google in London. And today we are going to discuss about my interview experience at Google in detail. Brace yourself because my journey is full of twists and turns. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Without any further ado, let's get started. It all started in 2019 during the placement season at IIT Delhi when I was eagerly anticipating an interview with Google. However, much to my disappointment, Google withdrew at the last moment and can you imagine Google did not visit IIT Delhi campus that year at all. So that's the whole point. Being in a tier 1 university does not even guarantee you an interview with Google. So anyway, the placements continued and I got a job at Adobe and I sort of forgot about Google until two months later, during my final semester in early 2020, I was contacted by a Google recruiter asking if I would like to interview with them. I was excited and immediately said yes. Then I had a regular call with the recruiter where she, you know, briefed me on the entire interview process. So the process is divided into three parts. Number one is the initial phone screen round by the recruiter where they ask you very basic theoretical computer science questions on sorting, searching, storage classes, etc. Number two is a technical phone screen round, which is a coding round of 45 minutes. Sometimes you have one, sometimes you have two phone screen rounds. Number three is the on-site round. Once you clear your phone screening, you're then moved forward to on-sites, which usually consists of five rounds, out of which four are coding and one is a behavioral round. Now let's jump into the details of each of them. So my initial phone screen round with the recruiter was for 10 minutes and I was able to answer most of the questions and then I got my next technical phone screen round scheduled after two days. So it was my first coding interview at Google and I was quite anxious about it. All the coding rounds at Google are of 45 minutes where you are usually expected to give a working code of two problems. So the interview started with a medium level array problem which I was able to complete in about 15 minutes and then my interviewer proceeded with a hard problem. So I was sort of giving a dynamic programming approach to that problem which was quite complex. But the interviewer was very interactive, she was helping me throughout, she was listening to my solutions patiently and she was letting me drive the entire conversation. But then she casually slipped a very subtle hint which was about um, what do you think the maximum answer to this problem could be. And that immediately struck the binary search chord. So, uh, and then I was able to give the most simple and most optimized solution. Uh, and I was really happy about it and the interview went quite well. I heard back from my recruiter the same evening and she came back with a positive response. And then I asked my recruiter for a two weeks time to prepare for my on-sites and I got it scheduled them after two weeks. For on-site, Google usually flies you down to Bangalore and you get to see their campus, have lunch with a Googler and I was so excited to do all of this. And I also received an email from Google to book my flights and accommodation. And while I was about to do this, the pandemic hit and all of my on-sites were converted to virtual interviews. Anyway, the day arrived and I had all my five rounds scheduled on the same day. So my first interview started with a medium level graph problem where I used DFS to solve it and then uh, it had a follow up which was a little tricky and I gave different solutions, kept optimizing them, discussed them with my interviewer and I was able to arrive at the optimal solution but there was no time left to code it. So my second interview was based on a dynamic programming problem and I was able to give a solution for the first part and it also had a second part. I was able to uh, give working code for both of these problems and this round went really well. So now the third round was also a DFS based matrix question but this is the round where I struggled because I just jumped in to give the solution but I missed a very crucial detail and because of which I could only write the code for the first problem and just give a solution for the second one but I had no time left to code it. The fourth and final coding round was a graph with the shortest path problem. 
I was able to give a solution and uh, I wrote the code but there was one section that involved some redundant work. Again the interviewer was super interactive, he made me identify that specific section and I was able to uh, identify it and then uh, solve it and then bring down the complexity to optimal level. The fifth and final interview of the day was Googliness and Behavioral Round. So this is where they ask you some questions if you have encountered a particular situation before, what you did, what you could have done better, etc. So these are very standard questions and I had no trouble here. My recruiter came back to me after two days and she said the feedback was positive and they're sending my packet to hiring committee. For a moment I thought I've made it to Google but apparently I did not know the entire process. So my application actually went through multiple hiring committee sessions and it took them over a month to reject it. My recruiter told me that it was a very close call and I just narrowly missed my shot. Honestly I was very sad seeing that rejection email from Google. I moved on with my life, completed my post-graduation, started working at Adobe and it was in February 2021 that I received an email from Google with the subject, hi from Google again. I was told that because I performed really well in my last interview, so they are willing to waive off all my screening rounds and I will directly proceed to on-sites where I will have just three coding and one behavioral round. But this time I was completely out of touch with the concepts. So I asked them to give me a month's time to prepare and they happily agreed to it. And then I scheduled two coding interviews on the first day and one coding and the behavioral round on the second day. The first round was a two part graph problem where I used DFS to solve the first part and union find for the other. I was able to write working codes for both the problems and I was happy with my performance in this round. The second round only had one dynamic programming based problem and I was able to give the solution and also write the code for it. The third and final coding round was also a two part problem. It was uh, based on a string and interval based question. I was able to give solution and write code for both of them. Few days later, my recruiter called me and said that they're sending my application to hiring committee. Of course, this time I knew what a hiring committee is, so I patiently waited for her response. Uh, a week later, she called me back and said that I was selected. I was so happy, I almost couldn't believe that this has finally happened. That's it, that was my entire journey to Google. If you're someone in my shoes, all I can say is work hard, be patient and don't be worried about the results. Luck is a very important part of interviews and there is light at the end of the tunnel. So all the best. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Drop your questions in the comments. I will try to answer them in my bi-weekly Q&A series and I will see you in the next one. Bye.